Hey, hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? I know. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I have to say good morning. I came without warning. You knew today was going to show up, right? Come on. Get your crap together. Put it all in one bag for crying out loud. <clears throat> Think we'd make it to Milwaukee? First shot out? Let's give her a try. Should we go see what, uh, we should probably go see what, um, yeah. We should probably go see what, uh, well, then again, we couldn't find it last time, could we? <clears throat> yeah, this sucks. Gog and Magog and Russia. I'm joined today by Jeff. Understanding the biblical end. Guy, no clue, man. <clears throat> Guy's got no clue. Uh, damn. I, was I even able to find it last time? This is what sucks. Poor Moshi. He doesn't get the. He doesn't get what he deserves. Uh, let, me, let me add Ezekiel Temple Watch and see if I can get him that way. are goofing this morning. <clears throat> Two more big earthquakes, yada yada, Chinese balloon, eight hours ago. This looks like the new one. Uh, let's get this right. Okay, I've got the uh, bars of sunlight in the windows. I can't help that right now. Hey, he's okay. looking like Sheriff this Kincaid this morning. I live in Israel. I live in the lower Galilee of Israel. I've lived in Israel for many years. Okay, I'm a Levite and I'm also a punk. And I'm going to explain to you my analysis, which I think is quite good, if I don't say so for myself. Uh, about the Chinese balloon situation, okay? This is not going to appeal to the people that are believing in the Schofield Bible and they're waiting for the, for the beast and the Antichrist to come to Israel and cut the heads off the Jews or make them take the mark and all this other stuff, okay? This stems from a poor understanding of, a, of your Bible and a reluctance to study the Bible itself without the commentaries and without the study Bibles. That's why people believe this. It's so far from the truth, it's not even funny. If this is you a Jew. In that, you're going to kind of think this is a nice thing. It's not. Okay? And it's really for people that understand who the daughter of Babylon is in Isaiah 47, Jeremiah 50 and 51, the great voice. Who this is? I want to. I want to say that the daughter of Babylon, um, and when it talks about Babylon, if you read uh, in Revelation what it says about Babylon, there'll be no harpists, there'll be no players. But what's most most important that should really catch your attention? There'll be no more voice of the bride and the groom. That's God, Jesus, and, well, wisdom. <laughs> it's in there. It's scary because I don't want to think that Babylon is my church. But it is. It's scary. Go ahead, Moshi. Tear it up. This is America. Okay. 
And if you don't quite understand these things, you're going to have difficulty understanding what I'm going to tell you. In addition, if you have no knowledge of Zechariah 12, which is the next so-called war to hit Israel, not Gog and Magog, because in Gog and Magog it says Israel is living in peace and safety, which Israel is absolutely not doing now. And they don't have any bars and walls. And we've got massive amount of walls between us and the Arabs. And they um, have wealth and riches to loot and pillage. Where <clears throat> Gog and Magog. Here's something to consider. you got to know a little bit of Hebrew. But Ma, M-A, in Hebrew means what? So you've got Gog, and what Gog? God of gods, and what God of gods? Two opposing forces, believers and not, sheeps and goats. It's right in your faces, guys. It's right in your faces. Well, we have 28% of the people at the poverty line. <laughs> And a bunch of people, I don't know, another 25% of the people send their kids to school without a lunch because they can't afford the lunch. So you can forget this stuff. We're not there for Garg and Magog. Is it that Garg and Magog is not going to happen? No, it will. But it's not the time. Okay? And the church is teaching crap. All the churches all the time are teaching crap. Okay? <clears throat> And I want to explain uh, some scriptures intermittently with you. I'm not going to put this up on the screen, but maybe I Well, I just want to go quick, so I'm not going to bother with the screen very much today. And I want to say one thing. This guy won't even talk to me. He calls me a churchy, a church person. <laughs> uh, Moshi! Come on, buddy. Okay. It's going to take too much time. Galatians 5. <clears throat> 19 to 21. I'm going to read this to you. It's in your Bible. It'll make sense in any English translation. This is okay? beautiful. And I'm just going to put the cork in why you shouldn't listen to the church. Now, if you reject the knowledge, not me, the knowledge in your Bible, then God's going to reject you. Here we go. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Okay? Everybody's going to agree to that. Idolatry, oh yeah, witchcraft, yes, <laughs> hatred, variance. Whoa, what is variance? Variance. You know what variance is? Variance. Do you remember what he said to Job? He said, you have not spoke accurately about me. I don't know what he's going to say about variance, but whenever you deviate from what God's word says as far as the law, what scripture says, you're going to get your ass in trouble. Remember, his law is a blessing and a curse. God isn't a God of confusion. He doesn't just, <laughs> in irony, he doesn't just pop out of everywhere with random miracles and stuff. The power in God is in knowing what his law is. Remember, the prayers of a righteous man avail much. None are righteous. Blah. Yes, you can be. Yes, you can be. The law is not some kind of a burden, terrible thing that can't be done. It's simple. Jesus reduced it to very simple phrases. Love. Love. If what you do is in love, you got it, mate. Even David, King David, he went out and murdered his friend, stole his wife. What? Who is this man who stole that little lamb? Wow, man, he was really, really pissed, wasn't he? And then Nathan, you, you are that man. Wow. But guess what? He loved God. It doesn't mean you get away with anything just because you love God. But <clears throat> that's why the blood has not left his house. The sword. Well, variance is not rocket science. It means to vary. Okay. All right, and then what are the real definitions of this word? It's Strong's number 2054, okay? And it means um, 
to have strife, uh, contentions, dispositions, uh, variance, alignment, uh, wrangling. It means you're arguing over doctrine, is what it means. Okay, pre truth, mid truth, post truth, a millennial, uh, no rapture, rapture, praying puns, don't pray puns, that type of thing, which the churches are in across the board guilty of. Okay? Emulations, wrath, strife, seditions. Now, this is where I'm going to convict two billion people. You heard me. Seditions, 13. Now, I want to say this. <clears throat> In defense of all the denominations and even all the the different kinds of beliefs in the world of God, <laughs> all these different religions, the reason why all of these different religions have spawned in the first place is because of love of God. They fear God. Some people, religious uh, groups and so on, they fear him so much that they feel like they have to go to war for his battles, to fight for him. Dude, you don't fight for God. He fights for you. And he makes it as simple as possible in Exodus 14, 14. Be still, and I will fight for you. In other words, just... <clears throat> and it's like, wait a minute. It almost sounds like you're just saying I'm just supposed to stand here and do nothing? Kind of. Yeah. If it's not what if what you're doing is not with love, you're out of line. You are out of line. And he's gonna come and get you. <laughs> but all of these different denominations, uh so on, remember, he's God of gods. Which means that we have God, but we also have what? All these other gods. Gods that you don't know. His word tells you about him, these other guys. Uh, Dagon, for instance. Dagon, when they when they put the ark in the temple of the Philistines, what happened? Dagon was found on the floor in front of the ark. Dagon was worshiping God. Prostrate. Right in front of the ark. Laying down, saying, you're my God. They didn't even understand what was going on. So what did he do? Stand him back up. What did God do? Where you there, remember the law is a blessing and a curse. If you follow the law, obey, worship, like Dagon was worshiping, all have, all works out. You're kind of following this path. Uh, it's like road signs going down down the thing, telling you exactly what you should do. <clears throat> oh crap! Fifteen percent power. This is gonna this is gonna fade out in like five seconds because this thing's gonna start. But if you don't do that, then guess what happens? Well, you get what you get. Uh, you go by works. Your works, what you do, Paul said this, all right? This is in Romans 12, uh, I'm sorry, Romans 2, 12 to 14. 2, 12, boiling point. Pay attention to some numbers in the Bible. They'll take you to places that will uh, give you little chunks of Scripture stick in your head like Exodus 2.12, where Moses looked this way and that, seeing nobody, he killed the Egyptian and buried his body in the sand. That was a boiling point. He should not have done that. <clears throat> anyway, in Romans it says, whoever has the law will perish by the, by the law. In other words, what you do is what you're going to get. You should know what it is you're doing. Guess what happens if uh, you don't have the law? Whoever does the law, though they don't have the law, is then a law unto themselves, which is just to say, guess what? If you do what God requires, you might not have the law. You might not be a Jew. You might be a Gentile. But guess what? If you're doing what God says, what do you expect to happen? It's like there's some kind of favoritism. i got to have a stamp on me, a label or something. God just expects certain things of us. And I'm going to kill this thing because it's going to die anyway. But go. Love. Love. And you know what? Everything will work out. Everything will work out. <clears throat> All right? Even, even COVID. If people really loved each other, 
they wouldn't have been walking around coughing and whatever. They would have been going, unclean, unclean, and went and hid in their houses for 14 days or 40 days. And guess what would have happened? Wherever it was, it would have died right there. Instead, we're crawling all over each other, trying to, with, with one of these stupid things. Mm, doesn't do shit. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Happy Sunday. It's the faux Sabbath when we worship the air pig. And today is the big day. I don't even know who's playing. I'm telling you the truth. I have no clue. I don't care about it. Love you guys. Shalom.